Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Uh, I'm very happy to have you here uh, today. So I want to cover uh, a very special topic today, which is Amazon.com. So I want to uh, make up a new automation scenario in make.com with you guys uh, on how to scrape Amazon. Uh, now this will be no code uh, because uh, I'm no programmer uh, so we'll, we'll experience this together we will be using some really cool tools to do that and it will be easy okay I will be doing it together with you so you'll see me make mistakes here and there but I think that's a good way for you to learn as well as you see me troubleshoot those errors okay before I start I'd like to point your attention to the description box below I'll post some links that will be useful for you guys to check them out uh, after this after this lesson. Okay, I'll I like to jump right in. So I mean make uh, .com. What I'm gonna do is create a new scenario as always. So this scenario I'm gonna call it Amazon Scraper, and I'm gonna save quickly with this button, uh, and this is my first note. So as always, I always like to start with a, with a sheet, with a database, whether it's Google Sheet, Airtable, or if you're using the store, uh, there's a database inside of Make. Uh, if you type store, so data store, this is inside of, uh, this is uh, accessed inside of Make in here. If you click more, so that, that data stores, you can access that as well. But uh, Google Sheet is free. Uh, that's why I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search rows. So I'm going to get the data that I want from here. And then at the end, uh, I want to, so let me first select, it's called Amazon scraper. So this is the document. I still haven't put anything because I don't know what kind of data that I will get, but for now let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, we'll get one. We'll get only one. Okay, we'll get one from that. Uh, so I will be getting the data from here. So probably I'm going to have a keyword from here and as a first one. Okay, so this is the sheet. Now I'm going to use Appify. Appify is a great source to uh, to get scrapers, whether for for any kind of scraper you want, Instagram, Facebook, anything. Uh, it's no code, it's very easy. It connects with make.com in a very quite easy way. I'll show you how to do it today. So I'm gonna go to appify.com. I'll put uh, the link in the description below. So I'm, go I'm logged in. Uh, you get a free account with $5. Uh, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to actors uh sorry store and i'm going to search for amazon uh, so here you'll get all sort of uh scrapers here that you can use um, i'm going to search for one that is good and that offers a trial for me a trial is a very good way to um, to test products So let me see. Let's see what this is. Yeah, I think this is good. This offers a free trial 14 days and this requires a uh, the search keyword and everything. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, let's start with this, we'll get a free trial. So now we rented it for 14 days and I'm going to make a task, but first I need to get what I want. So this is amazon.com and I'm going to search for uh, running shoes for marathon. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go to here and here where it says keyword and I'm going to put this how much I want, let's say I want 10 results at first, I'm going to save this and then I'm going to create a task out of this. 
Okay, continue. So now that this is done, I'm going to go to here and I'm going to go to search for Amplify. I'm going to run a task, not an actor, because I've already set up this task and I, and I always feel like uh, running a task is easier than running an actor because an actor you need sometimes to provide the JSON and, and you know, uh, it, it gets a bit uh, hard. So what I want is Amazon. Okay, this is the task that I created. It says run synchronously. And this is where you wanna make sure that you have yes. What this means is it will wait until it gets the results before it moves to the next step. Otherwise, if you say no, it will jump to the next one without getting any results and then you will run into errors, okay? So this will run the task and wait for it. So after we ran the task, we want to get the results. And this is where the get data set comes from. Okay. It requires a data set ID, which we'll get from the previous node, which is run a task. We'll get it from uh, here, data set ID. We'll just click on it. It will populate it here. Okay. Uh, we'll keep things as is. Uh, and what we will do now, uh, we, we, we will disconnect this at first because we've already provided uh, the keyword that we want. Uh, we'll run this, we'll get the data and based on that, we will uh, see what we need to do. Okay, let's give it a test run. So now it's running synchronously. So as you see, there's a there's a bar loading. This is what synchronously means. So I will get data now after this finishes and then I'll be able to uh, see what kind of data with this node. It will get the data from this one and it will provide it in a way that I can see what kind of results I want. And then based on that, I can uh, populate this, uh, this sheet that I've created. Okay, so now we have the data. Let's see what we have. So we have the title, which is the title, okay, the URL, the ASIN, uh, perfect, the price, that's amazing, uh, in stock, we have the brand, we have how many stars it has, we have how many reviews it has, wow. So let's, let's first start bit by bit. So I'm gonna take the title, I'm gonna put here title, and I want the URL, URL, and I want this ASIN, it's useful to have. I want the price, I'll put the I should put price, sorry. Price, and I want, uh, I want brand, it's good to have brand. And I want stars, I want so all of these are great information to get. Uh, I want reviews count. All right. Uh, thumbnail image is good. We have so many fields that we could take. Uh, we have product gallery images. Look at that. We have features, attributes. Wow. Has reviews. Um, all of that offers. Okay. So I think we'll, we'll take these. Uh, how many bundles did we get? we got nine bundle because we specified we only needed 10. Okay, so now that we have now this ready, I'm gonna make these bold and I'm going to put like put it like that. Uh, let's make it look better. Okay. Price, brand, stars. Review count and then thumbnail image. I'll just name it thumbnail. 
okay now i want to populate this with the products that i have uh, i might want to add another one at the beginning uh, oh let's, let's keep it at that let's keep it at that uh, i have these set up okay let me go to here and i'm gonna add a new uh i'm gonna add a row in here and then i'm gonna select my uh see i have another video on google sheets uh, if you want to learn more about how to use this note please refer to that so i'm gonna select the sheet uh, and then the sheet name that it has headers so the headers are the first bit of it this one so i'll create test here the reason why i'm doing that is because uh when it or when the first uh uh sorry when, it, when the first row gets created it gets the um, it gets the colors and everything from the first one so i want to just reserve the first one to test and then when when it comes populating i can delete this later on uh, so what i am going to do is populate this the title has the title url this one the price i want the value followed by the currency uh, the brand how many stars the review count they even break down how many stars per one wow this is amazing thumbnail image and that's the it so i'm gonna click ok uh so i'm I, I am all set i'm gonna delete this for now i'm all set i'm gonna auto align everything and i'm gonna save so i don't forget so the next time i run this it should uh it should give me the results okay let me run this and see the the results that we get so it's now go ahead uh, going ahead and running the task that i asked it to do in here uh, this task um, using this actor right uh, using using this actor so here are all the settings that you can do as well um, So there, there's a lot of, uh, yeah, here you, you can put the JSON here. Uh, this is, it has a lot of features in it. So now it's running and uh, I should get the results soon. So runs here, it shows you uh, the tasks, right? The last one, it costed us 0 0.053. See how, how cheap this is? uh this is amazing okay uh now we're we're still waiting on, on this to finish it will finish this and will pass in the 10 results or nine results that we requested it to do uh, it will pass it to here and then it will start adding it okay it says uh, failure let's see okay let's see what happened so we did get the results, but uh, it took longer than expected. This is why it's uh, it did that. So it is, it is taking yeah. Let's let's adjust this to uh, something less than ten. So we're now in the task. So I will let me get five results for now. Okay. So here is the advanced section where you uh, where you get to put the JSON. Let me uh, click OK and let's run this again and test if uh, things is be are better. Uh, I'll pause the video so you don't have to wait. All right, so uh, it finished running. So it gave us five results. Let me go here. There you go. So the first one is the test one. We'll delete that now that we have everything. So this, these are the results that we got. 
with the links and everything we needed okay some of them didn't get the price price uh, the, the price of it but we got everything basically we need if we click on this this is the thumbnail how beautiful is that okay so now you can populate this uh, you can uh, increase it to 100 results if you want you can even schedule this to run every day for example to check every day what what are the results that are there uh, to check on the reviews and everything uh, this would be great if you are creating an amazon fba store or if you're into drop shipping this would be great way for you to see what's trending in terms of apps in, in terms of products on amazon uh, so today we learn how to uh, scrape uh, amazon using a keyword with appify and adding it to a google sheet uh, uh, sort of uh, database so you, you you can store all the information i hope you found this useful uh, if you did like it please uh, press like below and subscribe for more videos in the future and i'm, and I'm gonna see you in the next lesson thank you